I'm happy. Anyway, you folks remember in episode two, I was threading the old 80-year-old film winding shaft, and I broke it. Was not a happy camper. But with the help of my new tool, an automatic center punch, which I absolutely love. Don't know how I never seen this one out there, but thanks to my little brother and Spanky for mentioning it. And I don't know how I ever got along without it because it just, uh, it allows you to have one extra hand free to hold what you're doing while you're making the punch hole. Anyway, as you can tell, it works great. I just really took my time because I know this wheel is made of a cast metal. I have had wheels like this break on me before, off an old apple peeler. Well, I dropped it, but it, was, it still broke. Anyway, just a series of lubing, drilling, filing, whatever, just ever so careful. I was able to eventually get to where I can uh, punch this hole out, or punch the pin out, and... Uh, then it was just a matter of pulling it out and pulling the 3 8 rod or old shaft out of the gear. So then I'm kind of back to where, where I should have done it in the first place and just remove all this stuff and replace it with a 3 8 16 threaded rod. And again, you'll see the center punch came in handy here because I can actually use the hole in the, in the original gear and make a couple punches in it and get to where I can drill through this threaded rod, <clears throat> which is pretty easy. And uh, tried it on for fit. Everything looked good to go. I had to try to decide what kind of pin I wanted to put in there. I didn't really give it a lot of thought. I'll be honest with you. There's a nail laying next to me in my unclassified yet items, <laughs> my junk pile on the workbench. And it had kind of a cool looking waffle head on it. So I thought, you know what? Let me try to tap this in there and it fit like a glove. But then I got thinking, how can I peen over the other side of it with, with the close tolerances I have of breaking this wheel, which like I said, they do break pretty easy. So I marked the nail and uh, pulled her back out, clipped it off, and uh, was hoping I didn't leave too much, but yet leave enough to peen this nail over. And the peening really didn't go that easy. And I, it, I don't know how they do it. They warm them up and press them and when they originally did this thing, but I tapped it a few times and kind of got it flattened out a little bit on the vise, but then I just taking a grinder to it and kind of melting it and grinding it down. But everything worked out pretty good. So now we're ready for the fun part, getting it in there and getting ready for episode number four to where I can actually uh, reinstall this rod in a more finished way. Like I was always kind of just practicing before, but now I'm going to try to do it in a more finished fashion because I can't, I can't, uh, I've already got my prototypes made, time to do it the final way. Uh, please like, subscribe, uh, comment, and as usual folks, thank you very much. I look forward to episode number four. Thank you, bye-bye.